Hey guys, uh, welcome to the, the sixth video for Unix uh, tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'll be going over uh, the grab command and uh, changing your passwords. And uh, I think uh, a lot of people are finding the videos to be too long, so I'll try to uh, keep it, uh, try to cover uh, one command in detail uh, per video, so I don't, uh, I don't go over like 30 minutes you know talking about it and some people just maybe they just want to find out about specific commands so they don't want to go through the whole video so I'll be keeping these uh, videos uh, shorter uh, per command uh, maybe around 20 minutes or so so yes let's get started all right <clears throat> okay so last time we talked about the last command uh, which shows you like uh, uh, the, the last uh, um, you know the past uh, login histories for, you know uh, for you, all the users you can specify specific user if you want uh, so you can do the minus 10 and then your specific user in this case we uh, you did this on E5 so it will show you only the records only the login histories for this uh, particular user basically uh, if you ever need to change your password you can do a pass WD and then it will ask you for the current password. You type in your current password, and then it will ask you for the new password, and, will, and, and then it will uh, change your new password. So this is how you change uh, passwords in the uh, Linux or Unix environment. Uh, let me see if I can put this one. Uh, okay. Uh, whatever. Um, okay. So let's go do the the grab command, which is for finding. Uh, uh, terms in each file so basically the grab command is this grab uh, your options and then your the regular expressions here okay and then, the, and then the file names here basically so uh, let's look at the sample.txt see what we have here so let's say I want to look for the you know fussy cast on sample that uh, sample.txt Okay, so it shows me all the lines uh, that contains the uh, the fuzzy cast. Uh, if you would like to do uh, case insensitive, you do a minus i. So we do minus f here. I will still match the fuzzy cast uh, because it's case insensitive. Uh, you can also look for multiple, um, you know, uh, regular expressions. So for minus e, you specify one uh, regular expression, and then you can add on more regular expressions if you want. Now let's say I want to look for um, hat. Uh, <clears throat> and I want to make it uh, case insensitive, right? So, so it brings out the uh, the fuzzy cast uh, lines, the lines that contains fuzzy cast, and it also brings out the lines that contains a uh, hat in there. So you can do multiple of them if you want, you know, minus uh, hat or something. You know, you can give it like a multiple uh, regular regular expressions. But notice that the uh, the the grab uh, command does not support a like a full uh, extension of the uh, pro regular expressions. So by that, if you watched my regular expressions video, you should know that like um, escape w is uh, is for alpha numeric characters. So in this case, it would uh, you know uh, it, it will not try to uh, match the actually looks like it does, huh? Let's see. What? Well, let's see if we can do something over here. No, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do the plus sign. Uh. No. Uh. Let me see if I do a uh, uh, S. Yes, it brings out the S, but I think it's thinking that it's thinking that it's a S character. And, and not the white space. So um. I think this is why. Let's um, see if I can bring out the B. Bring out the B. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let me see what else is in there. Um, Fussy cast. Let's do a Fussy cast. Or a world. So let's see if it brings out. No, see. Yeah, it doesn't support uh, the full ex uh, like a pro regular expression. So if you want to do a pro regular expression, you should do this. So um, <coughs> uh, 
uh, minus p. Oh, minus p only supports one expression, so I have to take these out. Okay, and I don't need the i because. Uh, what do I need? Okay, so it so this way it will match either full C cast or world. So this is basically the um, uh, the pro regular expression. Okay, so you can have uh, this will match all the alpha numerics in there, all the spaces, all the lines that contains a space, one or space, one space or more, and then uh, digits. Yeah. So basically, so if you specify minus p, right? It will uh, get you will able to grab files using the pro regular expression, which uh, it basically has a has a very powerful uh, like a syntax where it can pretty much match uh, anything you want. So that's for uh, if you want to uh, you know grab in a more extensive uh, regular expression. So you you will use a uh, minus p, okay. Now minus v, right? There's a this a space called minus v. Well, minus v is basically let's do i v here. Okay, minus v basically means uh, um, the inverse of uh, matching basically so it will so this command it will returns all the lines that do not contain uh, full cast okay so you see that all the lines that it returns it do not contain the full cast here so that's uh, that's what the minus uh, v is for and if you put in the minus n if you put the n in there it will give you the line number you know showing you which uh, where the line uh, like which line has the, uh, the the regular expression basically so, so that's a minus n. Uh, this also called minus b, right? Minus b. Okay, minus b basically will bring you all the uh, uh, the number of lines bef before the uh, the search. So let's look for something really unique in that file. Um, okay, let's say hat. Let's say we are looking for hat. Okay, we're looking for a hat, and we want to bring out all the uh, five lines before the hat. Okay, so if we, if we were to bring out these five lines, and then including the hat, okay, this will do that. So minus b basically uh, saying that you know display uh, five lines or four lines, however you want to specify. It. So like you put, again, put a number there to specify how many lines uh, you want to display before the uh, the key ter the term has been found. Okay, so if I do that, okay, you see all these uh, five lines before it are display and then including the hat so that's what the minus b is for displaying the you know uh, four five lines uh, before the uh, search term basically okay so this is the the grab command okay so pretty simple pretty straightforward and then the uh, next one is called a watch command okay a watch command basically tells you like uh, uh, how many it will uh, per periodically uh, execute this command uh, by number of seconds you specify. So in this case, if I want to uh, if I want to do like a echo, hello world every five second, you know, I want to do echo. If I want to do echo hello world for every five second, I will do that. Okay, and it will keep on echoing, uh, hello world, you know, for another five seconds. And uh, yeah, looks like the screen does not change, right? Okay. Because uh, you know every time it echoes, it clears out the uh, the screen. So, but if you need to, if you want to do like um, want to see the last, you want to continuously. Let's say you want to continuously to see the last uh, ten lines, last five lines of a file, right? You want to see any any updates to that file. Okay, so let's say uh, tail minus uh, five, and then sample dot txt. Five second may be too long. Maybe I'll make it one second for you know demonstration purpose. So I want to keep on seeing the last uh, five lines uh, of this uh, sample.txt, right? And what's good about this is like uh, uh, you can see the live updates uh, to that file. So if I put anything in there, right? This is a new line. If I put a new line into the sample.txt, okay, watch this. See, it will automatically update over here. So because it runs every every one second, it executes a tail minus five every one second. So if I wanted to, like, you know, this is another new line. Okay, and then you see that we have updates here. So basically, uh, there's another uh, command called tail minus f. 
if you do tail minus f it basically does the same thing okay so let's do the tail minus f then okay so you do tail minus f sample.txt okay now it's displaying the last five lines here right so now if I do here minus f for tail minus f okay now you see it updates here automatically okay so this is good for like uh, you know like you starting the uh, Apache HTTP server or you starting the Tomcat server and you want to keep track of like you know what's going on in the in the log file right maybe the, the server failed to start up or you know it returns some kind of error message you can keep track of that basically so this is uh, why well, I usually use this to keep track of like the, the logs basically okay now going back to this uh, watch command right watch command this watch command basically, you know, is like a, some kind of a, like an automatic. It does like it executes the uh, the command repeated uh, repetitively. So basically, the syntax is like this, right? You are watch minus n, and then here you specify the number of seconds, like the, the period, basically the period, uh, how long, uh, how long does it wait before it runs the next uh, the next command, okay? And then here's the command that you want to run, okay? So ba basically, that's the syntax okay so it pre periodically runs the command uh, in this case it runs it every five seconds okay <clears throat> uh, something that on the admin side like let's say you want to add a user right you want to add a user so you want to add user so that's the add user and then you want to add a user let's say uh, fussy cast okay oh oops you need to do sudo because only uh, the administrator can do that so do sudo so that you can become a, uh, a super user temporarily okay so now you just created a new user okay so if I do uh, sudo minus u oh what happened there oh oh yes I have to put, uh, I have to put in a uh, password so put password a password uh, full name now uh, full cast room number eight you know you don't you can skip them you don't need to enter all of it is this information correct yes okay so now I can uh, become the user I want to uh, switch to that user I do a sudo minus u full cast minus i okay and now become I become the uh, the the fussy cast user now. So if I do a PWD, I'm at my own home, the fussy cast home. Okay. So basically, uh, that's how you get to become another user in the system. But this is how you uh, add a new user, right? So, but if, uh, but a lot of times you need to like a uh, change, uh, something like you want to specify a new home for the user, right? So let's say, uh, right now I'm at my own home, and then maybe I want to make a, a new directory called fussy cast. And then I want to um, change the home directory for FussyCast user to the to the directory that I just created, right? So I just do a sudo user mod, okay? And then I specify the user that I want to change, and then minus d, and then specify the new home, basically. So the new home, his new home, new home will be uh, FussyCast okay and then press enter okay so now if you uh, change to a uh, fussy cast the home will be different now so if you do pwd you see my home is here it's not the previous home anymore it's not the home slash fussy cast anymore this is my new home basically okay so exit so there's another other things uh, you can do in there okay so if you can do a sudo user mod okay and then the username uh, full C cast okay and then minus D okay if you want to specify a new home okay but you can do like a let's say you have something in the in the um, let's change it back let's change it back let's change the uh, home back to uh, full C cast okay now let's change to full C cast again okay right now I have nothing in there right like I have something in there but you know let's say you know I have a lot of stuff in there 
and then you know some admin try to change my home directory but I still have a lot of stuff in my uh, previous home directory and I, I he needs to move everything into there right so let's say I want to touch you know uh, a lot of files okay so I create a file called a lot of files okay so maybe you know this file uh, these uh, this uh, file represents a lot of files so maybe I want to bring this these files to my new home right so what you can do this the admin can do is uh, sudo user mod okay uh, the username minus D just and it specify the new home maybe five as uh, full C I can't type today yes and then do a minus M okay I mean, what minus M does is that it will bring everything in the full C has previous home to the new home so basically if I press enter okay it creates that uh, directory as well so you don't even need to create a directory uh, so if we, if we look into the uh, full C cast directory right now okay, um, okay I guess you have to take it out first and then you run that command okay so you run this command with the minus M okay uh, looks like I already changed it uh, yeah I need okay let's bring it back to the home full C cast so I'm restoring the changes I'm, I'm going back to from the first step okay so the first step is that the old home the the original home of full cast is in home uh, slash full cast now I want to change it to the new home and then also I want to bring everything from the old home to the new home so I press this and then I look at the full cast directory okay and then I see this all the files in there okay so minus M brings all the files from the old home to the new home basically okay uh, you can also set the expiration date for the uh, for the for the account so let's say you just want to create a temporary temporary uh, uh, account right Temp and then you can specify the you know when did when does uh, this uh, this account uh, this user account expire so let's say 2012 uh, 0701 okay you do that the um, I'm not sure the, I'm not sure the command to show the expiration date uh, for user but basically that sets the uh, the expiration date for account you can also change the group for user okay change the group for user and then you give it a group name new group uh, okay new group doesn't exist <laughs> Uh, okay, maybe bring it to my own group, right? To uh, use the designers group. Okay, so now it will bring the uh, the users to the. Uh, so if I do sudo minus u uh, full c cast minus i, right? Okay, and then I touch something, something new. Okay, I exit, and then I look into the full c cast directory. Okay, you see that all the groups has been changed. Okay, all the groups has been changed. You see, so it changes all the uh, uh, all, it also changes all the directories and files that were owned by uh, the the cast. So uh, I think that you have to be careful with that because sometimes you don't want to change uh, the group name for all the files that the uh, FuzzyCast owns. Uh, again, I'm not really a system admin guy. I'm not very familiar with these. Uh, uh, these uh, uh, commands but so far I know like how to change the group name uh, how to change the username so maybe you want to change the username right so sudo user mod okay you give it a, uh, you specify the old username okay and then to a minus L minus L and then a new uh, username okay new username okay so now you're the user. So now FuzzyCast the username is called new FuzzyCast, basically. Okay. You can change the password for user. Uh, so sudo user mod. Okay. And then the FuzzyCast specify the user first. Okay. And then minus p and then a new password. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'm not gonna do that. So uh, you know how uh, how it works. Okay. You can specify the uh, what kind of uh, shell. Uh, what, what you can specify the default shell for fussy cast okay uh, actually it's a new fussy cast now 
new fussy cat. And then you can specify the new shell. Uh, say bash. Okay. Or make cache. Core shell. Okay. So now if I do sudo menu new, I need to change that name back. Okay. Core shell is not. Um, for some reason it's not found. But anyway, you can specify your shells in there. Okay. So that's uh, minus s, uh, minus s. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So this is uh, so this is it for this uh, video. I uh, let me see. Actually, let me see how many minutes I have. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So this is it. Uh, I want to keep it short for each video. So this is it for the this video. Uh, until next time. Uh, next time I will talk about the fine command in this next video. All right. So stay tuned. Hey guys, uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, make sure to subscribe to me to like me on my Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash fussycast. And also make sure to follow me on the YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com slash ujdesigner85. And also uh, my blog, which is uh, the fussycast.com. Thank you.